Welcome to the DMZ. Today, we've come back with a brand new build for you guys, the Tempest Razorback. If you guys are a fan of the M13B, which is all the rage right now, you're definitely gonna wanna check this one out because it's just like the M13B, except within 25 meters, it actually has a faster time to kill. We'll go over the stats and gun data later, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, one player. I really like this optic. Another player over there. They're probably looting a body right there. Looting the cleaves. Oh, he sees me. He must have a spotter scope. I hate spotter scope. Yeah, he has a spot. There's no way you'd see me there unless he had a spotter scope. Ooh, oh, what? he has a one shot sniper. That's explosive rounds. That's not good. That is not good. Not. I'm dead. shot from in the back. Probably that car that passed by. Hear the car. Okay. I gotta go to the store to get plates. I don't have a choice. Which means they're gonna get rezzed, which really sucks. It's not even that much plates. Two smoke grenades. Is it a gold bar? Oh my gosh, yes. They saw me. Hopefully they can't see me climb this. I don't think they can. Oh, oh where are we getting shot from? Oh, someone else is here. Someone else is close. Oh, I'm like surrounded.
Holy crap, where are these people coming from? Somebody got to, okay, people on the bridge. I think I think there's another team interjecting into the fight from all the way from the city, I think. How did he see me? I'm, I'm amazed, actually. Shoot, I'm dead. Oh no! We knocked each other! And there's another one! No! I even got him! Ah! I was so close! Oh! They res- they, they picked up that plea from the guy I killed earlier. Dang it, dude! Ah! I was so close! Good freaking fight, you guys! Woo! That was intense. Good fight. All right, so for our Tempest Razorback build, one thing you need to know is that I have since adjusted the build, particularly this underbarrel right here. Now this underbarrel is special. It only exists on the Tempest Razorback and happens to give phenomenal stats. It actually surpasses the FTAC Ripper. It gives amazing horizontal recoil control versus the FTAC Ripper. So make sure to use the DM Proto Grip with this tuning right here. We have 28 in recoil stabilization and 0.26 towards aiming idle stability. Then we go ahead and we use the Harbinger D20 to extend our damage ranges, bullet velocity, as well as have a slight recoil benefit, 0.95 towards ADS speed, and 0.39 towards aiming idle stability. Then we go with the 16 inch Tanker V barrel, we do that 0.40 towards recoil steadiness and 0.23 towards damage range. Then we get to our optic. Now for optic, you can use whatever you want, but I have recently been falling in love with the Corio Enforcer optic. It has a really clean visual as seen in the video, and it also provides a little bit more zoom than something like an aim op, but not too much heavy recoil like something like a VLK. We use 0.39 towards ADS speed and we go all the way to far. If you want to go to close, that's perfectly fine as well. And for our last attachment, we have the 60 round mag. Now, I want to take a moment and show you guys the TTK values between both the Tempest Razorback and the M13B. The Tempest Razorback is the red line that you see here, and the M13B is the orange line. Now, lower is better. That's something you need to know here. So, for the Tempest Razorback, with 300 health, which is a three-plated player, with a combination of shots all around the body, you're going to get a TTK of 720 milliseconds versus the M13B's TTK of 781. So from zero to almost 30 meters, the Tempest Razorback wins that fight. And at the longest ranges, you know, say 50 meters and above, these weapons have the exact same time to kill of 1179 milliseconds. Now, obviously within these mid ranges, you have a certain time here where the M13 is actually beating the Tempest Razorback, but overall throughout the chart, you can see the Tempest Razorback is winning, if not tied with the M13B. Keep in mind, the Tempest Razorback has just a slight bit more recoil than the M13B. So if you can't handle that, then the M13B is for you. But if you can handle just a little bit of extra recoil, then you get a benefit fit from a much faster time to kill within that close range. And don't forget to smash that like button to help support the channel. It really helps us grow and I'd really appreciate it.